So it's two weeks to darker and I'm talking about preparing for a signing today. So, um, two weeks today I will be, is it two weeks today or three weeks today? Mm. My brain's just melted. Two weeks today I will be heading to Peterborough to the Darker Side of Fiction signing. And so much to do still, so much to organise. And I'm like, ah! But let's talk positives. Um, last year... Dark Side of Fiction, I think I had two books pre-ordered. Um, this time I have six lots of pre-orders. I have um, a lot more in terms of, got an extra print book out. And everything is coming together. Now, the thing I want to talk about this time is next year. You know, next year I've got a few signings lined up, and what I am realizing is that if I want to be successful at this, I can't rely on three titles to make me sales because people come to one or two different signings each time, they want different books, and I am now having to look and refocus for next year for what I get out. Um, I've still got time this year for a couple more books to come out, but I also have other projects that are on the go that I'm working on at the minute as well, which have put me behind and I'm just going to have to have a sip. I'm croaking like mad. Um, lovely sore throat and cold going around here, um, which I want to have cleared up for before Peterborough. But... Um, basically, if you have just one book, you're not going to get a lot of signings. Well, no, that's not true. It's not that you're not going to get a lot of signings, but you're not going to get a lot of sales at those signings because you're not giving people choice. Once they've bought your book, they've got it. They don't want to buy it again. I have lulled in my own production. I could have had more out. I had hoped to have one or two more books ready for Darker this year. It hasn't happened for various reasons. But, you know, this this Friday fiction thing is about talking about the future and learning lessons. And that's a big one. I am realising, you know, it, I'm not going to say it's easier because it's not. But the romance writers, erotica writers, their books tend to be shorter. This gives them a better window to get more out. They also have a bigger market. But what I'm realising is that, you know, one title a year is not going to be enough. I am going to have to look at getting out two to three books a year in order to be competitive to do signings, to be able to start getting towards the point where I start making enough to cover some costs. Um, and it is a big thing, you know, they're expensive. Going to do book signings is a very expensive thing to do. You're paying for your table, you're paying for your stock, you're paying for swag. If you're staying over, you're paying for hotels, you're paying for travel, you know, you've got to eat. There's a whole range of things, and it, you know, if you think I'm going to go and I'm going to make all my money back, it's not going to happen. What you might do is make enough to cover one part of the day, but what you're doing is meeting people and getting your words, getting the word out there about you. But you have to have new things to keep drawing people back to the table. Um, I, you know. If you come and see me at one of these signings, come and talk to me. I have a couple more projects I can tell you about. You know, I'm really excited about. And tea, I can start hinting at teasers for things coming up. In my swag bags for this time, 
there is a, a, a thing that people are going to be like, well, what's that to do with? It's to do with the next book. But they will make sense to them when the next book comes out and they start seeing the PR for that. Um, and it is a big thing to sort of have to start thinking ahead and thinking, I want to make a living from this. I want to quit the day job. How do I make it happen? And just saying, well, I can write a good book isn't enough. Writing a couple of good books isn't enough. You need to work out a strategy for how you plan your time, how you're going to get books out, how you're going to market them, how you're going to do all the other things that are to do with writing as well as the actual writing. And as you, as you get better, you can afford, you know, you make more money, you can afford to pay other people to do this. You can afford to pay a cover artist, you can afford to pay editors. <coughs> Sorry, I'm croaking again. But right now, at the beginning, it's all on you. It's all on you. Maybe if you're lucky, you've got some good friends. Some beta readers that'll tell you it's straight. Most people haven't. Hang on a minute. Um, <coughs> yeah, so it is hard. But you have to plan. I look at this as a five-year plan. I am coming up to the end of year two, which technically is next week, my birthday. Um, and that's where I class the end of year two. So year three will begin with some serious planning for the year ahead. And I'll talk to you about that more next week. Okay. <laughs>